Love my coffee in the morning. Hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, girls, and kids, this does not work. Let's get open for business and let's wake up the football gods this morning here and i am feeling great it is the weekend i i wanted to sleep late but i was still awake at like six o'clock this morning ready to go but uh, i gotta go get some tires on my truck and run around and do some things and all that but i'm happy because well i can just kind of take it easy now um we sit here 75 days 11 hours 25 minutes and 20 seconds away from kickoff of the 2019 season i'm excited i'm happy i'm thrilled to death we are getting every weekend one step closer to the season i just can't wait till it gets here i'm literally gonna bust so i got a comment from somebody that said i need to take a break and that they would laugh when dak prescott gets hurt that they're tired of my intro you know what buddy you don't like my channel that's cool you need a break go on vacation but doing this is like me having my cup of coffee every morning. Me having my morning constitutional. It's part of my everyday life, and I absolutely, positively love it. And I'm going to be here every day, God willing. Don't like it? Boy, bye. All right, so last night we had a great live stream. We had, it, it got fire in here. I was really hyped up and everything else um, and had a great conversation. But I'm going to issue a challenge out there. For all you who hate my quarterback, my quarterback, Dak Prescott, my quarterback that I believe in, my quarterback that I think is going to win a Super Bowl one of these days, all of you that say he's a bum, he's garbage, he's trap, he's not worth crap, I'm, I'm going to bet you, I'm going to bet you that you cannot prove this wrong. If you do, I'll come, I'll come up with something. You know, I'll come up with something. Maybe if you can prove me wrong, maybe I'll let you go ahead and come up with what I'm going to do. You know, like Tommy Eagle, a couple of years back, um, when the Eagles beat the Cowboys, we had a Facebook back where I had to, he, he basically took my head and put it on the eagle guy who's holding up a sign that says, I'm a moron. I had to have that for a week. You know, maybe um, I'll have to wear, if somebody can prove me wrong, uh, uh, like let's say a Carson Wentz jersey or something like that and take a picture. And I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out something. But if you can prove me wrong or tell me why I am wrong legitimately, then you're the winner. I will stop defending my quarterback, Dak Prescott. But I'm going to go ahead and show you, and I did this last night, but I added another wrinkle to this equation. See, so here's, here's what I got here. I, I know I'm old. I should have done this like, you know, like in Word, uh, I'm say Word Perfect, but just Word, that's how old I am, Word Perfect. I ended up doing this on the dry erase board here, old school. But what we have here, let me zoom up a little bit, move my microphone so. What we have here, right here, are some numbers. Quarterback numbers. Let's see if I got the right place. Okay. Quarterback A, one season, 63.8, 3,445 yards, 23 TDs, 14 interceptions, 89.5 QBR rating, one rushing TD. Quarterback B. 63.1 QBR, 3,357 yards, 26 TDs, 9 interceptions, 101.2 QBR, 1 rushing TD. Quarterback C, 69.5 QBR, 300, I'm sorry, 3,233 yards, 24 TDs, Five interceptions, 100.6 QBR, four rushing TDs. And quarterback D, 69.6 completion percentage, 3,074 yards, 21 TDs, 
seven interceptions, 102.2 QBR, zero rushing touchdowns. All right. So the question is, how different are these numbers? I mean, they're all between 32 and 3,400 yards, so the yardage-wise is pretty similar. Um, you have 63 and 69 QBR, so these guys were a little bit more, you know, higher completion percentages. And touchdown-wise, well, everybody's either 21 to 26 um, on those, right? Interceptions-wise, well, this guy had 14 with only 23 touchdowns and an 89 QBR. Not, not exactly great. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. Quarterback A, 16 games, 16-game season. Troy Aikman, Hall of Famer, his first Super Bowl season. Let me say that again. First person on the list, Troy Aikman, Super Bowl season. 23 touchdown passes was his best season and his only season that he was over 20 touchdown passes. Very accurate quarterback. And I know that things have changed because of rules, that it's different, of course, passing now. It's a lot easier to pass now than it was back then. But I'm just pointing out those numbers. Quarterback B, oh, and also this whole argument that Dak can't win without people around him. Understand that you had a Hall of Fame running back. You have a Hall of Fame uh, wide receiver, a Hall of Fame offensive tackle on that team that were surrounding him, and the number one ranked defense in the NFL. So this whole notion that a quarterback can win without having people around him, let's get real on that. Quarterback B. Russell Wilson, second year when they won the Super Bowl. 3,357 yards and 26 TDs. What's amazing about that, again, is he had the number one ranked defense. His numbers have gotten tremendously better. He's in the 30s now, 10 more touchdown passes every year. He's throwing for 1,000 yards or more. But they're not winning Super Bowls. In fact, we beat them. So the reality of the whole argument that you have to have, you don't have to have people around you and Russell Wilson is the be all end all, you still need to have a team around them. Quarterback C. This is Dak Prescott, but not in 16 games like these guys. This is Dak Prescott's numbers between weeks seven through the playoffs, 12 games. 12 games that were like playoff games throughout. Having to beat New Orleans, having to play against the Super Bowl champions twice, having to play against the Rams and the Saints, having to play against Seattle. 69.5, 3,200 yards. Almost the same yardage as these two guys in four less games. Pretty much the same. Touchdowns, well, you could actually say more with the rushing. 28 touchdowns to 27 or 24 in four games less. It's my argument that really with the defenses that these guys had, with them being the number one in takeaway, that you could interchange Dak Prescott with those numbers and win the Super Bowl. And I challenge you to say that it wouldn't. Take a good look right there. Now, I threw one more into the mix here. Here's what you have right here. That's Carson Wentz's numbers. Carson Wentz played in 11 games last year. Just 11. In which case, they went 5-6. and six. So Dak Prescott had one more game than Carson Wentz. And their numbers, yardage-wise, Carson Wentz has a little bit more. Uh, touchdown wise is Dak's got a whole lot more with less interceptions so if you can B 
beat that argument and still come out with Dak Prescott as trash when you could have replaced Dak with Troy Aikman or Russell Wilson in their first Super Bowl years and probably still win the Super Bowl. I want you to go ahead and explain that one to me. And if you do, maybe it'll be your choice as to what I do. Haters, bring it on. I'm ready for war against you guys. Give it your best shot. Because I'm going to tell you, I don't give up. Ever. I'm Mark Holmes, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will be here. Billy, see you soon.